Hey guys, this is Destiny Lachey. Today I'm just coming to you guys with a Kylie Jenner inspired makeup tutorial. I'm going to show you how I put on my foundation, highlight, and contour, and all that good stuff. So if you want to know how to get this look, please keep watching. So this is me with bare face and all. So I'm just going to put my hair up and we're going to start the tutorial. I'm going to start off with this Makeup Forever Smoothing Primer. And I'm just going to blend that all over my face. And I also did mix in my NYX Honey Do Me Up primer as well. So now I'm taking my NYX palette and I'm taking the orange color just to correct some of the dark spots on my face. I don't have much but I do want to cover up some darkness so that it doesn't show through my foundation. And this helps your foundation not to be ashy as well. So now I'm mixing my Black Opal Hazelnut Foundation and my Cover FX Foundation in the color N110. And I'm just applying that. I think that was like a, a pencil or some weird tool I put on my face first to mix it. And then I'm just blending it out with the Sigma F80 brush. And just kind of buffing that into my skin. And I'm just going to buff that in. You can use any foundation brush you'd like, but I prefer a flat brush or a buffer brush. And make sure you get it into your ears, in your neck, in your hairline, and all that stuff. And I just took a little beauty blender to blend everything in to make it look more seamless. So now I'm taking my foundation. This is the Studio Fix Foundation in NW45 and setting my foundation with that so that it doesn't move all day and it neutralizes the color. So now I'm going to highlight my face. Today I'm going to mix my concealers. I'm taking the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in Cafe and using the applicator and making a tri triangular um, shape underneath my eyes and I'm putting it on the bridge of my nose, my cupid's bow, my chin, and my forehead. And I'm actually going to take this LA Pro Concealer, put it on my hand because it's really dry for some reason, apply it to my beauty blender and then apply it underneath my eyes. I feel as though this way it just comes out more seamless and it just looks better when I mix these two concealers on my skin tone. So you just have to try it on yours and you know see if you like that highlighted look. I'm really going for a really bright highlight today so I know it's not everyone's cup of tea but I like it personally. So I'm just going to blend everything out with my beauty blender. Now you want to set your concealer so that it doesn't move and your concealer doesn't crease underneath your eye. So I'm using the Ben, I ben Nye Banana Powder and I'm just using like a foundation brush to put the banana powder everywhere I put the highlight. Now I'm just going to do a quick easy eye. I'm using the Kat Von, Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette. I'm sorry, I can't talk today for some reason. Um, I'm using the dark brown color in this palette and I'm just kind of defining my crease. So it's basically contouring your eyes. And I'm just taking, I think this is a Morphe 511 brush, a really, really fluffy eyeshadow brush to kind of use swiping motions to define my eyes. Now I'm taking this red color from the same palette in the same brush and just kind of going in the outer V and blending that out. Pretty simple, pretty easy eye today. So now we're going to contour our face. I'm going to use my Anastasia Contour Kit. I'm going to use a eyeshadow brush actually. This is a Morphe 511 brush I want to say. It's a fluffier um, sh like eyeshadow blending brush and I'm going to use that to define my cheekbones and I'm going to use Expresso right now and I'm going to use this angled brush to kind of blend out that color and bronze up my face a little bit. This is going to act as a blush slash contour so yeah you just want to blend out your contour. I bring it up my forehead as well so that makes my head look a little bit smaller and FYI guys I did do my eyebrows off camera. So now I'm just kind of blending out my banana powder with a fluffy brush and I'm going to apply some MSF in dark to kind of tone down the highlight just a little bit so that it doesn't look so uber bright but it's still going to be bright anyways but whatever. So now I'm using Fawn from the Anastasia Contour Kit Palette and a eye, um, eyeshadow brush, <laughs> couldn't think of the name, eyeshadow brush. and contouring my nose. I find as though if I use this brush it comes out so much better 
just any eyeshadow brush. Now I'm going to use Sun Power MSF and I'm using that same angled brush. And this is going to act as my blush today. And I'm just going to kind of put that right over my contour smile and kind of put it up towards my temple. So my apples on my cheeks and then up towards my temples. And then you just want to blend that out. Now I'm taking my highlight. Today I'm using Gold Deposit by MAC. And I'm actually going to use a fan brush for this. This is the e.l.f. fan brush. And put it on the apples of my cheeks. So right above my blush. And right on my temples. And I'm going to put it on my nose, my cupid's bow, and my chin as well. I don't put any highlight on my forehead because my forehead is already big. <laughs> so I'm using like a little angle brush to put some fawn, that fawn color in my cupid's bow to define it a little bit more. And I'm going to shower, not spray, I'm going to shower in Fix Plus because this sets my makeup. So now I'm taking Colored Rain's Truffled Rain Lippy and I'm putting that all over my lips. And basically the look is complete after this. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video. Thank you guys. Bye.